All right, back. Use the case board to make sense of it. Yeah, let's uh, fucking use the case board, I guess. We solved all this shit. Look at this. Figured all this out already. So this goes here, and that goes there. The we pond. disappeared into the pond. It's another overlap. Has to be. Okay. How do I get inside? Good job to select. What's the ritual? The page says the record will open the overlap. Or is the page predetermining it? Am I just playing into the story? Probably. Up you them. Well. It's good. I have to go to the basement. Okay. This is gonna be fun. I don't even know where their basement is. Wash your hands. Where's your basement? Whoa. I don't like that. I'm so confused. Where's the basement? Nursing home's basement. On the porch. Conversation, new choices. Oh, what's over here? We just go around here like that. But there's also a conversation to be had over here, apparently. Welcome to the Freud. You all should stay out here a while. Until it's safe. I'm happy to get okay. out of that house. 
Isn't it strange that I've been <sighs> in Bright Falls my whole life and I can't remember this building? The house has always been here, Norman. Have that remember when that poor Nora girl drowned in the bunker? Stop. Those Andersons got it so cheap because it's haunted. Nora girl. You get what you pay for. Is there anyone who didn't show up? A few. Oh yeah, she is hurt. Holy shit. Cynthia? If oh. they aren't here by now, then they aren't coming. It's important to be punctual. On that topic, I'd like to point out that our nightly decaf coffee service is almost half an hour behind schedule. Oh no. Are you injured? Mandy May, are you alright? You're bleeding. Oh, how did that happen? Oh no, Mandy May. Oh no. Oh, don't be a crybaby, Norman. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing. I just poked my finger knitting this monster of a blanket. And you tell me about Cynthia Weaver. Have any of you noticed anything odd about Ms. Weaver? Just that Tora won't leave the poor woman alone. That brute wants one thing, and one thing only. Cynthia's gotten downright bossy. Take a swim in the pond, Norman. <laughs> Drink some water, Norman. Well, no one tells Norman MacDonald what to do. Hell yeah, brother. Hey, I've heard your radio Hello, show. Brother. Are you Pat Main from the radio? That's me. And you're the federal agent everyone's been talking about. Would you have time for an interview at some point? Oh, sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry right now. Love your show, though. Very informative. Thank you. Never a compromise on quality. That's my motto. Yeah, we'd be happy to have you on the show any time. Me and my listeners. Cool. So if I go out this door, I can basement without having enough like two big fights. Hey, uh, can you uh? She really wants to fight. Every night was bingo night. I need something to cut this. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, they're making me go this way. Okay. I understand. Bye bye. There we go. That worked. Key fob's no good without power. Right, right. I don't like that there's water on the ground and we're dealing with something with electricity. Oh, the old gods of Asgard, um, Instruments. It's cool. Let's say, we're we'll buy more fuses. Many more equipment. Blowing them. Ooh. A 
page. Wheeler used to be the agent of a manic depressive celebrity writer, Alan Wake. Wake had various addictions on his back, an on off death wish. Wheeler had seen a thing or two. Wheeler paid a lot of money for a good shrink. Got himself convinced that all the nightmares he'd seen leading up to Wake drowning himself were just his imagination. PTSD. Now we had pills to keep the shadows from his sleep. But the Andersons were something else. The nightmares were starting to creep in again. Or maybe it was the drugs in the air. Wheeler hoped it was the drugs. The Andersons were so old. Vampires. After every gig in the party that followed, it took them weeks to bounce back. And they never did completely. Each time Wheeler expected them to croak. Jesus. Oh, safe station. Side. Okay, yeah, so it's locked from the other side. Okay. Let me let me save again. Fuse is blown. Maybe there are spares nearby. Put this in storage, I guess. I can't get through this. Fuck. Another manuscript page. Place is something special, huh? Emmett taken. Emmett Elwood had had enough. All his life he'd been surrounded by the same small-minded, impolite, ignorant people in town. Their endless gossip. Their nose picking. Chewing food with their mouths open. Not washing their hands after visiting the restroom. Touching things. Touching everything. The world was going to hell. He'd watch day after day how all the nice things in life in Bright Falls were spoiled and ruined forever. There would be a just and terrible reckoning. Emmett had imagined many times how he'd make them pay. He had lovingly tended his anger. Made it grow hotter. It was out in the open now. Ugly and slobbering, they reached at him with their unwashed hands. He beat them down. Beat them until they no longer moved. And then he'd wash his hands with a strong antibacterial disinfectant. Jesus. Let me take a look at the workspace first before I move on. Ooh -hoo. Like to see that. I Oh, spare fuse now locked away because someone ought to keep sealing them. Boat is in the laundry room. So this is gonna take us to storage and then we House of Zane, renowned filmmaker, establishes artist commune in Bright Falls. Oh, is this what 
Valhalla nursing home used to be the actual like the commune. Thomas Sane, born Sane, Thomas Sane, Sane, Finland, partner Barbara Jager, Jager, born Baba Jakala, a recently established an artist commune here in Bright Falls. Mr. Zane has purchased an, the old manor house outside town and the couple's already settled in. His home country and well intentional and intentionally as well, Mr. Zane is well renowned and respected amateur filmmaker. A rising star already compared to the likes of Stanley Kubrick and Ingmar Bergman. His earlier film, Nightless Night, won a number of European film awards. Mr. Zane is currently in the process of filming the feat a feature entitled Tom the Poet. In conversation, Mr. Zane comes across as a charismatic figure with big dreams. He talks about building a hotel and a film studio in the area. He even has a name picked out for the hotel. Ocean View Hotel. This reporter believes the name has a nice ring to it. So I don't know, again, I don't know how Ocean View connects to Alan Wake, I forget if it does. But Ocean View Hotel is like a place that you would be teleported to? I don't even know what to call it. In control. Because you were in one building in the entirety of... Even though like it sounds like, wow, you're only in one building for the entirety of control. The, the building is called the oldest house. And it also... like the, That houses the uh, Federal Bureau of Control. And it's also um, one of those objects of powers. Because it is infinitely long. Um, it just looks like a normal place in New York. But it's 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 massive. So in it, you could actually go to the Ocean View Hotel. So that's why I say teleporting, because I'm like, how did how did we even get here? Porter believes in the a nice ring to it. Mr. Zane's dream would certainly make Brave Files a household name if they become a re they become a reality. Members of the commune clearly feel the same. Seeing Zane as a per person worth Revering, revering, even to a faintly cult-like degree, a person who guides his flock to expand their consciousness and reach a higher state of artistic inspiration with the aid of magic mushroom. While the Bright Falls Records does not condone the use of illegal drugs, we hope that Mr. Zane will help put our town on the artistic map. The power's off. Oh, we're going to be able to play that? We put the power on? That's where the fuse is. Why do I have a feeling when I need this? Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the back with her. In the dark, dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. Code is two seven three. Rose, if you see Fuck. Oh. There. Power's back on. 
Ó. Oh. Yeah, let's see that fucking movie. Is this something they watch on movie night? That looks just like Casey. What the hell is going on? Jesus Christ. Well, okay. We'll save again. Don't mind saving a lot. Oh god. Careful, Saga. Oh boy. They really want me to use the fucking stupid thingy, huh? <sighs> I think... Was that in the game? That scared the shit out of me. Well, let's let's try this, I guess. Quick slot it here. No. Get the fuck away. I'm going back to Cynthia Weaver's room.
Wait. down was Cynthia into civil engineering manuscript page Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow Tor always poking people with his hammer he had it coming wait that's that's not it though Cynthia Weaver hated being old. She'd been a doer, a fighter. Now the bathroom frightened her, afraid she'd break her hip, like Norman. Cynthia had always kept her lantern close to hold the darkness at bay. Oh dear, my lantern. I think I've lost it, Cynthia said. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear, a voice said. A man's voice. Someone in the bathroom with her, in the dark. The light bulb had blown. She meant to replace it days ago. How could she forget? She had slipped getting out of the tub. She lay in the tub now. She lifted her hand. It looked wrong. Too many hands. In a black uh. void with no sense of up or down. She was underwater. A dark shape pushed her down. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. It came out of bubbles. Cynthia Weaver smiled. Lost without her lantern? Nonsense. Cynthia felt as giddy as a young girl in love. Cynthia had loved Thomas Zane. Tom only had eyes for Barbara. Barbara was bad news. Tom had seen it in the end. Cynthia had been there to comfort him. And when he left, Cynthia waited. Years of waiting. Now Tom had come back to her. They'd be together now see the world she'd always dreamed of seeing new york they were there now in a fancy hotel she drew a bath she would become like barbara no better she sank into dark water into tom tom had enemies plotting against him cynthia would deal with the nasty anderson fellow tor always poking people with his hammer he had it coming anything for tom I didn't realize that they... I didn't realize that, um... Huh. Interesting. Very, very... In I didn't realize that... Cynthia and Tom were, like, together after... I didn't even know Barbara died. I mean... I assumed, I think, like, Tom Sane and Barbara are both dead, but I didn't know any of this shit. Okay. Um. Yeah. Oh, and there's... Dark Bath. Tom's lamp is gone. The lamp with the angel on it. He always loved that lamp. It disappeared from my room. The darkness is here after all these years. I took Tom's lamp. The lights are going out more and more. No one left to stop it. I can't do it on my own. I have nothing left of Tom now. I don't know what I'm going to do. Tom's lamp back. Tom back. The dark presence uses people's memories. Their fears to corrupt them. Oh, there's another one right here. Went down in the basement today to check the lights. I can't trust Blum to do it. He's too slow. Getting harder and harder for me. The lamp, it, that's the one that the clicker is like originally from. Oh, that's the one that Alan's using, right? In like the other world. Shadows are moving. No more 
light. More lamps. I can't find my way out of the... Someone locked the door. Did I lock it? Bob did. Probably did it to keep me safe. He's such a considerate man. Barbara doesn't deserve him. Tom could do so much better. Where did, did Tom's lamp go? I used to have it. I took it back. It's fine. It was his, after all. Shadows are moving. Did I write that? There are no shadows. It's just a... Tom and I, forever. I found something funny while I was down there. A newspaper article about Tom. But I called him a filmmaker. He didn't make movies. Poet. Magnificent poet. I dug around and found film equipment supposedly also Tom's. What is happening? This isn't right. I know it isn't. <laughs> Shit. Here's me. Oh. Not another, like... I did mom leave. There, we know they're cold. Vladimir Bum. Okay. There's the last one. It's all for later. Huh. Okay. Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. Love a good power Aladdin. station. Was Cynthia using it for protection? Looks like Did it. Did she know about the dark presence? I mean, I this. feel like I'm missing some context here. Ever's I'm guessing Isle. the woman in this photograph was not Cynthia's favorite. Yep, that's Barbara, all right. A very oh, special woman. Huh? Oh. Huh. He's in this puzzle. I guess we go downstairs now. I think we got everything we wanted from there. Right? I'm going to assume so. Trashed hotel rooms and ruined pools. Crowds go wild for the old gods of Asgard, Rock, Ragnarok tour. The rock and roll group Old Gods of Asgard are leading chaos in the wake as they plow through the major U.S. cities in their aptly named Ragnarok tour. The band is breaking their sales records, with singles topping the ch charts, and had their latest sold-out concert in Long Beach, California. The fans showed their love for the reckless rockers by showering the stage with lacy unmentionables, black roses, and even full beer bottles. Oh my god, Anderson Moonshine, hell yeah. None of this face the stars in themselves who embraced the administration and transition from song to song with such gusto that the audience was left catching their breath. Here to keep up with the brothers, Anderson, and their cohorts. After hours, shenanigans in the other musicians included a pool in a private residential 
neighborhood left to be emptied. Sanitized in a hotel. And sanitized in a hotel room nearly destroyed in a classical fashion. Not to mention the lengthy room service bill going to aid. All things point to the band quickly becoming a strong contender to the iconic Hall of Fame rock group that came before. Rock groups that came before them. Old gods of Asgard party like their namesake. Give a performance like no other. Be sure to catch them on their tour and bear witness to rock history in the making. Gods of Asgard band member dead. Legendary heavy rock band Old Gods of Asgard mourned the loss of their divinely talented guitarist Bob Balder. That Bob, as he was affectionately and ironically called, died from complications of severe illness, leaving his bandmates, bandmates Odin and Thor Anderson behind. The peaceful, loving musician will be sorely missed, also by the band's numerous fans. When asked about their loss, Tor Anderson had this to say, Get the fuck out of my face. Baldur's in Valhalla now. He fought cancer like a hero. Bob was too beautiful a soul for this world, added Odin. What this means for the band and their upcoming album remains to be seen. Rock music is the ancient language of the soul. This is old gods of Asgard's lead singer. Sit down with the Anderson brothers of old Asgard of Got old gods of Asgard fame in the lobby of a rundown hotel somewhere in the downtown Detroit. Currently on the ride to Martin hit tour, busy band members have only a moment to spare to f a fledgling journalist and his questions before running off to the sound check for their concert tonight. How was reception been? Or amazing. The fans understand what we're about. They get rock and roll. They get spirit. They get the spirit. They know we're not here to fuck around. Wooden. That's fucking right. Ew. What do you do? Why do you do what you do? Tor. <laughs> Laughter. I can tell you're new at this, buddy. Why does anyone do what they do? For the glory and the fame? For the money and the sex? Or because you have something inside you that is going to fucking burst out if you don't start using it? But it, it's the latter. Question. That's a good answer. How about music then? What is it about music that compels you? Or That should be pretty fucking obvious. This is boring me to death, bro. Let's get moving. Odin. Sorry, he's always impatient. As they stand up to leave for the tour bus waiting outside, the, the larger-than-life rockers turn around for one final quote. Tour. Music. Especially rock and roll. is the ancient language of the soul, man. It's in me. It's godly. It'll come out like a fucking thunderstorm. Whoa. Angus remorse. This is the one. But it's gone. Cynthia has the record. She will tell me where to find it. I don't release fingers. Will we get to listen to that's gonna be so sick that we get to listen to an unreleased song by Thor Anderson. Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Why him? Deal with a nasty Anderson fellow. His heart was broken. Uh huh. Canceled. Canceled. Started appearing. It was too late. Shut her out of her own case. The dark presence is using Cynthia to keep me from talking to Tor. I'm a Sane. Cynthia was close to someone named Thomas Sane. Is he? Tom was back. Tom had enemies. In a fancy hotel. Just his imagination. The nightmare started to creep in. Cynthia Weaver smiled. An old flame. Maybe Tom was taken. Maybe. Where is Angus Remorse now? He is a young girl in love. A broken brawl tweets it. The shadows to come alive. A gift. An arm of death wish. She has the record. I can get it out of her. Angus Remorse. Where is it, Cynthia? Drowned beneath dark water. Too many hands. It was in her bathtub. Frightened her. Cut short. She screamed. I did it a little out of order, but it's all good. Now it appears. The 
Inga's remorse record is in Cynthia's room, in her bathtub. Profiling. Odin. Here's remorse. Slayer, let me. Remorse is missing. Who took it? Our shame becomes the pale horse. Oh, Tor, bro. Tor's love for you was in that song. Oh, because I wouldn't have That's known. Why Cynthia wants it to ruin him. She made Tor lust after her. We fought one scratching hag years ago. Now scratching he's hag. For another, and we might lose him for good. One less Anderson. That isn't going to happen. Cynthia has Tor in the overlap. Anger's remorse is the key to get there. I need to make Cynthia reveal its location. So do I want to? How do I want to do this? <sighs> Actually, I think I do want to use this gun. And I take out my gun. I feel like that's going to be better for a boss battle, and it looks like we're about to have a boss battle. I mean, if I'm going to the overlap, I'm definitely having a boss battle. Give me that shit. My old gods of Asgard. I need to play it in the jukebox. Ooh. Don't like that. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I That was hard. <laughs> That's not how the story goes. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Okay. Cynthia took the record and I brought it back. I have to go back to her room. Fuck. Okay. Well... <laughs> I love how every single time I... Every single time... Bop bop. Scare me. I, I save all the time and then the one time I don't save. My old gods of Asgard. I need to play it in the jukebox. <laughs> Is 
so now we go save again. What does this do again? Yeah, let's... We'll do this one. Oh wow, I have all of these songs now. Um, can I go to the case board first? Is Tub, a pond, a lake. There's a theme here. And oh, this is for later. Yeah. Drove away. Man, did, what man did Tor drive away with my father? Oh, yeah, because okay, interesting. Well, at least I got some bullets. Heels. 
The body of missing youth discovered in flooded bunker. The local girl Nora Hesberg, age 15, went missing on Saturday of last week, was discovered dead in the sealed ner underground bunker near Valhalla Nursing Home in Bright Falls. The cause of death has been determined to be drowning. The incident occurred during a gathering of local youths at the bunker. Nora was first reported missing by her parents Sunday morning. They discovered their daughter had not returned home the night before. The police were contacted... Hold on. Discovered dead in the sealed underground bunker near Valhalla Nursing Home. During a gathering of local youth at the bunker, Nora was first reported missing by her parents Sunday morning when they discovered their daughter had not returned home the night before. The police were contacted and they received a tip to check the bunker from one of the victim's acquaintances. Police are treating the tragedy as an accident. Community mourns the loss of its younger member. Shit, that's fucking awful. On too soon. Ocean View Hotel and Spa. Wait. Fuck this place. It's all the same area. Beware the drowned lady. Am I going in circles? Yeah, I was. Okay. Oh. The wall just disappeared. The light did that? The light can do everything. I have a oh yeah I don't have a map of the overlap I guess <laughs> unfortunately
Oh yeah, we we already we're here. Wait, what? Okay. It's a loop, like the others. I need to reach the center. Well, this that's the Ocean View Hotel, right? That I was. Cynthia, she's here. Where are you, Cynthia? A dead end. Is it that way, or is it down? I have no idea where I want to go. Locked. The key has to be nearby. cutters for that. And I don't have the bolt cutter so I can't anything with that. go he's <sighs> less there's the key Jesus Christ they're giving me they're like stocking me up with shit right now they know. Oh, they know. Bolt cutters. Just what I needed. I forgot I got that like uh that cut fixed. Now we close this.
inventory full. Fuck. I have too much stuff. Did you look at that? Too much stuff. Who would have thunk it? Don't like not a big fan of that. Gotta say. Is there any reason I'd want to go back? I don't think so. I think we just keep going down. Well, now that I have the bolt cutters, is there? I'm saved. Well, I am at. Hold on, let me just double check. Save just now. Okay, I am at the fucking um, one hour mark, so I think we uh, pick it up next. Until then, my friends. See ya.